SPS says farewell to district employees who are heading into retirement. We're also celebrating the class of 2023 by bringing you all the highlights from the commencement ceremonies. We've got all this and more coming up on First Bell. What's up, SPS? I'm Teresa Scribner. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. Sophia Charchuk is reporting from the field. Just because school is out doesn't mean we don't have a lot of great stories to share, so let's get into it. Seattle Public Schools celebrated the achievements of district staff members who have reached the pinnacle of their professional journeys, retirement. The district held a reception for nearly 100 employees who are retiring this year. The pool included educators, administrators, school support staff, and central office employees. Superintendent Brent Jones expressed his gratitude during the celebration. Our school district has been a beacon of education embodying every essence of Seattle's de dedication to nurturing young minds and fostering a love for lifelong learning. Each one of you have played a very pivotal role in making that happen. That's why we have this legacy that you will leave of Seattle excellence. Our community is better because of you and we appreciate your, your contributions. The 2023 retirees worked a collective 2,240 years. Six of them put in 40 years or more. Denise Edwards, a substitute coordinator in the central office, served a whopping 54 years in Seattle Public Schools. We want to express our heartfelt gratitude for the contributions made by these employees. Congratulations on your retirement. Graduation season may be over, but we're still celebrating the class of 2023. Sophia has the story. It was all smiles as the class of 2023 strutted across the stage to accept their high school diplomas. We captured the emotions, the triumphs, and the bittersweet moments as Seattle Public Schools celebrated commencement week. The class of 2023 was in the middle of their freshman year when the world was hit with a global pandemic. Now, after missed milestones and a year of online learning, more than 3,000 SPS seniors celebrated the end of their high school journey. Just moments before taking the field at Memorial Stadium, staff members left advice for the class of 2023 while the seniors shared their high school highlights. My highlight of senior year was probably getting prepared for after high school and just speaking to all my friends about all their plans. I would like to say thank you to all my teachers. I've had a rough four years dealing with COVID and everything and I finally made it. Always remember to just do your best in whatever situation you find yourself in. The thing I'll miss most about high school is my chosen family that I'll miss so much. I love you guys so much. Mwah. So my message to 2023 is to always keep your old staff's number because you never know when you're gonna need it. Always listen, learn, uh, less talking, but listen and experience and be a part of it and enjoy life. Uh, highlight of my year was uh, getting to perform at prom with G Herb. And the thing I'll miss most about high school is the people I met on the way. As we celebrate the class of 2023, we also want to recognize all the kindergartners, sixth graders, and eighth graders on being promoted to the next path of their school journey. Congratulations, you did it. You already know what time it is. Get ready for the rundown. The central office admissions counter will be closed July 17th through August 4th and will reopen Monday, August 7th. Staff will be working remotely to answer questions through Let's Talk. We know you want to focus on summer break, but save these dates. The first day of school for first through 12th grade students will be September 6th. Kindergartners and preschoolers will start on September 11th. You can find all 2023-24 school year holidays, school breaks, and school year terms on our website. And be sure to check your emails in late August for back to school messages. Students don't need to go hungry this summer. SPS is partnering with several city agencies and organizations to provide free, healthy meals and snacks to children ages 1 to 18. Children and teens can receive up to two meals or one meal and one snack per day. Sites have specific hours of operation, so use the address lookup tool to confirm schedules and locations. Mark your calendar for the Seattle Black College Expo. 
SPS has teamed up with the National College Resources Foundation to provide students with a chance to learn more about and apply to historically black colleges and universities. Register now so you don't miss out. As we close out our first season, we want to shout out all the students who helped make First Bell a success. From the anchors to the students and staff who set for interviews, we appreciate you. And even though it took a lot of coordination and focus, we had a lot of fun filming with students in the studio and around the district. Check out some of our behind the scenes footage. This is the second take? <laughs> we did like 15 takes in the first episode. What's up y'all, it's Evie from Franklin, and we're to, oh, oh, I'm time. Well, some students, sorry, let's redo that again. Zoom. Okay. Take two. All the Siki Wow. Pull that one off. Be sure to drop a comment. <laughs> the gyms to watch their school leaders receive their surprise. Okay. Let's do that again. Everyone was just kind, um, and they showed us around. Just really, really fun. Everyone was so nice. It was really cooperative, and being on camera was overall really fun. For someone who's interested in First Bell, I think it would be a good opportunity to only not only get your name out there on SPS, but to sort of learn a skill, meet someone new, and just just have a confidence in speaking to people. Last credits. Ely Malaki has the details. Was that a, was that a bird? <laughs> We'll be back next school year with a slightly different format, but even more great stories from around the district. We'll see you in the fall. If you want to learn more about the stories in this episode, visit our website. Until next time, I'm Teresa Scribner, and we'll catch you later for First Bell. <laughs>